G'day YouTube and welcome to Epic Tutorials. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing an all Australian design and made little beauty, the Rode Video Mic Me. This is a compact directional microphone that connects directly to your iPhone, iPad, or compatible Android device via the TRRS headphone jack. And for just 60 US dollars, it offers incredible value for money. But does it sound any good? Well, before we get into the sound tests, let's start with the unboxing. Inside the box, you get the Video Mic Me in a dead wombat, which I could not believe because if you've ever bought one of these before, often referred to as a windsock or dead cat outside of Australia, then you know they're usually about as much as this mic costs by itself, so we're already winning on the value for money front. You also get an adjustable mounting plate that slides on the back of the Video Mic Me and a quick start manual. Now the Rode Video Mic Me feels very solid and not like a cheap microphone at all. And what's really cool about this device is it has a headphone port on the back so you can live monitor your sound. My first concern was whether this would work with my iPhone cases. I use both the Studio Proper Strong case and a 12 South Book Book shell. And I'm happy to report it worked perfectly with both thanks to the adjustable mounting plate on the back. So Rode really know how to design a great product for mobile devices, but looks don't mean a thing if the sound is terrible. So let's get out into the field and see how this mic sounds. All right, so I'm out and about in the great Australian outdoors and I'm using the inbuilt mic on the iPhone right now because uh, we wanna see how much noise this picks up. As you can hear, there are lots of cicadas over there in the, in the bush. Let's take a look. And this could quite easily be the opening to a modern day deliverance film. Okay, so now you are listening to the sound with the video mic me. What you should hear is a more focused sound because this is a cardioid microphone, which means it has that heart shaped pattern. It rejects a lot of sound from the side and the rear. What I might do is another 360 so you can see how much background noise it picks up here. So there's a lot of insect activity, cicadas behind me and less so from the sides. But this just adds a nice um, presence to the voice and it cuts down on a lot of that ambient noise that the iPhone inbuilt microphone will pick up. Now I've got a dead wombat in my pocket. No, that's not a euphemism. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut and see how the video mic me sounds with the dead wombat on board. Okay, so now you are listening to the Rode Video Mic Me with the dead wombat on it, or the dead cat if you're from overseas, or just a windsock. Um, but this should sort of muffle some of the high frequencies, but it's gonna drastically cut down on the wind noise. Now, I'm not expecting to hear a huge difference because there's not a lot of wind now. But what we wanna do is head on down to the All Australian Beach, where there is a lot of wind, and see what sort of difference this dead cat makes. Alright, so here I am, I've made it to the beach with a little bit more wind noise here, not as much as I was hoping. And this is the inbuilt microphone. You can hear just how much it's picking up here. You might be able to hear some wind hitting it. And if I do a, a 360, it gives you a nice uh, view of the beach here. It's beautiful. But now what we want to do, see how this sounds with the Rode Video Mic Me, starting without the dead one back. Alright, so now we have the dead wombat on and as you can hear it is making a big difference to the wind noise hitting the side of this microphone and again I'll slowly circle around in a 360 so we can hear this through a range of different movements and um, it's getting really hot out here but I actually think this is a fantastic mic and it's so good that it comes with the dead wombat. But the Rode Video Mic Me isn't just useful for video. If you want a superior voiceover recording that cuts down on the atmospheric sound, the Video Mic Me is an excellent choice for podcasters and voice memos. What you're hearing now is the iPhone 6S Plus internal microphone, and I'm recording this using the excellent Apogee Meta Recorder app. 
Now, you will notice that there is a lack of presence because I am about 12 inches away from the microphone and you can actually hear that distance in the audio track. Also, it's raining very lightly outside, so it's going to pick up that sort of sound as well. Now, I'm going to stop this and switch over to the Rode VideoMic Me and show you how much better that sounds. Okay, so now we are using the Rode VideoMic Me. I'm the exact same distance from this microphone and how much better does it sound? Um, it's a lot more rich, there's a lot more presence, and I don't sound so far away from the mic. It also does an excellent job to block sound coming in from the sides of the mic and from behind it, so it should help minimize that rain noise. So, how does the video mic me sound? Well, you can let me know in the comments field below, as you've had a chance to hear this in a variety of settings, but I have a small confession to make. This entire voiceover was recorded using the video mic me on my iPhone. Yep, nothing else was used for the entire video, and I have to say that I think for the money, this is the best sounding directional microphone for mobile recording I've ever used. Rode have a real winner on their hands with this, and I can't recommend it highly enough. But remember, use the dead wombat if you're shooting outdoors. Thanks a lot for watching. If this helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe for more. My name's Elliot Fitzroy, and I'll be back with more epic unboxings, reviews, and tutorials for everything iPhone, iPad, and iOS soon.